Hey guys, Hyperlight sent me 10 of these high bay LED lights because I have a 90 foot long barn that I need to put lights in. This barn measures 90 feet long and about 35 feet wide. It was built 30 years ago and the last time the electricity was on was 20 years ago. Hyperlight sent me some high bay lights to install in my barn. And this is what it comes with. A user manual, a hook to install the lights. These are LED lights, they're high bay. They're meant for high ceilings. This screws in on there in the middle. And then you hang it from that. And then this is like a safety cord here, just for added protection to hang on the ceiling. You can actually just plug these in. This is a power cord. We have 10 lights here, and we need to install those in the barn today. But first, we need to run electrical and I have my friend Brad here who is an electrician. He's gonna help me out today installing these lights. We have one light that's out, this one's flickering. That's the only light that works on this row. These are six shop lights, they're not LED lights. And then we have this light that works good, another shop light. There's wire down the middle and there's electricity wire down on the sides here of the rafters. We need to fix this electrical, but this works. The goal with these lights is to distribute them evenly throughout this barn. So far I've been using this barn as my workshop and I'm not quite sure what we're going to do just yet with it, but I do know it needs to be more brighter. All right, so when you're stapling Romax, you don't want to smash the wire so you can get it started. Hold it where you want to hold it. All right, my friend's here, Brad, he's going to help us out today. What's the plan? So the plan is we're going to get rid of this old archaic fluorescent light <laughs> and we're going to go with the new LEDs high base. And then we're going to demo stuff first? Yeah, we're going to demo out the old lights. Uh -huh. We're going to add some news in the fit middle and we're going to hang some new on the side and get all the stalls. It's going to be awesome. Just make sure it pulls straight through the staples, doesn't get bound up and we'll get it pulled all the way down and then we'll come back and set boxes. There's a lot of wasps flying around also, so we're trying to be mindful of that, try not to get stung. This wire right here that I'm nailing down is for the three-way switches, and we're taking that all the way down the barn. These lights come with a cord here, so you can actually just plug them in an outlet if you wanted to, but we're just gonna cut this off so we can hardwire it in. We installed that one light, turned the power on, let's test it out. There it is. One light's up. These are uh, weatherproof covers to help keep the moisture out. All right, we have one, two, three, four lights that we put right in the middle of the barn. And now we gotta put lights on the side, like where the stalls are at on that side. A row of lights on this side also. We have to run an extra line power right into the main and then it's gonna come up and then over. Half of these lights are gonna turn on separately so they're gonna have two separate, separate switches. Installing the lights doesn't seem too difficult, it just seems very tedious. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about electrical other than you know switching out a simple outlet. So having Brad here who knows what he's doing is super helpful. Yeah, I'm just installing two breakers. One's for this one that got was double lugged. And then the other one's gonna be for our new lighting circuit. All right, so this is day two of putting up these lights. Hopefully we get it done today. We gotta run the lights on the side here that are just above the stalls. I plan on changing the stalls up a little bit. I'm thinking I probably will tear down this whole stall right here and make it a, a workshop for now. We're hanging the lights in between these stalls so that way the light can distribute from this stall to that stall so it's, the light's not all in one stall. These are the old lights. They serve their purpose. On this edition of Horse Barn Makeover, we find some feed. I probably should get rid of that. Looks like some critters have been eating it. The 
there's a light there, light there. That wire's ran, now we need to go across and connect to these lights over here. So I've been pretty much just Brad's helper. He's just telling me what I need to do. How long have you been doing electrical, Brad? Since 1997, wow. so over 20 years. Wow. And then after we ran the wire, we mounted the lights and the boxes, and then Brad came in and connected all the lights. We're installing these outdoor bell boxes. That's to just keep it safe from the elements because we're kind of outside here on the end here with these switches and they do get rained on. So dusty up here. Spider webs. Is there a snake in here? I'm dropping down this wire down to the panel and then this is what we're running up to the lights. We're also installing another box here for outdoor lights for future. We're not doing the outdoor lights today or this weekend so that's going to be at another time, another video. Woo! It's hot up here. So when these guys originally installed this panel, they installed the guts upside down. So we're going to just modify the cover a little bit so it'll accept one more breaker. There we go. All right, Brad, on a scale of one to 10, what do you think? I like it. I would give it a 10 <laughs> for sure. I mean, is this typical installation? Yeah, it all went pretty smoothly. It was a little warm, you know, a couple days got hot. We had wasps, we had carpenter bees, and we're Dirt, looking dust. out for dust, yeah, dust, <laughs> and looking out for snakes. Wow. It looks nice. Whoa. You can see it here. It looks really good. Oh wow. We didn't put a light on this side because I'm thinking this might turn into our walk-in cooler. Hyperlight was super helpful on helping me figuring out what type of light I needed for this barn. They suggested these Saturn series lights, which are 21,000 lumens. This is how it looked before we installed these LED lights and the barn was incredibly dark. Really only two shop lights were working and they were just outdated. Now this is after we installed the lights. Look how bright it is in here. Now this is what it looks like during the day with all the lights on. Now I can see what's actually in these stalls before I didn't even really look in here because it was so dark. Look at this, a mineral holder. Isn't that what I needed for my two cows? We chose to put the light right in the middle of the stalls because that way we could have some light on this stall and then we could have some light on this stall. Before it only had one switch, now we put an extra switch, one for the stalls and then one for the middle of the barn. For now, I'm gonna be turning this area into my workshop and then this area down there, I'm gonna remain and have the stalls just in case we need to bring some animals in. I can actually see what kind of wood I have now and I can see if there's any snakes. Overall, it was a pretty simple install. So if you guys are looking for some high quality LED lights for your barn or workshop, I'll put that link down below in the show notes. I got you guys a coupon code, so check that out. And also the next step on this barn renovation is we need to clean it out because the previous owners left some junk. And so now that I have the lights, I can see now. And so we're gonna do that. And then also I need to tear down a wall here to make it my workshop. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.